Welcome back. 42 photographers who call themselves the B&W Group have come together in an effort to produce a street photography project that captures a raw and true sense of Malville's everyday lifestyle. Their hard work has resulted in a 64 images film that captured the true essence of the suburb's bohemian style and of course its vibrancy. This morning we're joined by Frederica von Stuckelberg and Dennis De Silva, the co-founders of the Alternative Print Workshop and of course curators of the exhibition. Welcome to Morning Live. Morning. Good morning. Thank you so much Thanks. for having us on your show. Fantastic. Frederica, take us back to the inspiration for this project. Well, actually, one of, um, one of our, our members is missing, Janis de Silva. He actually, um, Janis Boschow. Boschow, he had this brilliant idea of um, yeah, capturing Melville. And what yeah. is it about Melville that called for a project such as this one? Dennis? Melville is quite a special town. It's well known. It's it's close to Joburg. It's got a, a wonderful vibe. It's got a lot of history. It's a small area, so it, it gives you an opportunity to really get that one moment. And I think that's the reason why uh, Melville was chosen. Federica, what are some of the things that stand out about Melville for you? I think it's a very diverse suburb. There's so much happening, there are different people, there's a great vibe. And I think um, the project actually, that there were so many photographers taking part. So everybody has a different view of Melville and that was captured really well. All right. Speaking about capturing Melville really well, tell us more about the photographers you worked with on this project and what was their special element that they brought into the exhibition? The nicest part of this project is that 2% of the photographers were professional photographers. Wow. The rest of them were all businessmen, lawyers, people that had cameras buried in their cupboards. They took the cameras out once they heard that we were doing this project. So the great thing was that everybody went in there with their own eyes. We were very careful of that, that we said to there's no rules, there's no regulations. Mm. It needed to be 35 mil camera, it needed to be film, and it needed to be hand printed, which was the beauty in it. So it gave them this suddenly this challenge of taking up film again and going into this area and shooting a street photography, which can be sometimes quite difficult. But they mm. went in there, some of them went in there days before with a digital camera and took shots and worked out exposures and had a look what they could see. Others went in a number of times, some went in once. It was just, it, it, it was just a really, really something that happens out of the blue a wonderful vibe the town was open to us mm. the restaurants were open to us the residents were open to us the security was excellent it just was a wonderful vibe so each photographer had an opportunity to see what they wanted to see we were clear take what you want to see and we'll print what you want to see we never we even said to them we're not gonna curate we're not gonna say so you can't have that you can have that we said whatever you like we are going to print and we're going to hang now that is like art freedom in, in, in its own right. Absolutely. And, and Dennis, you know, art is, is an expression and art is all about storytelling. When people come to this exhibition, what is the story that will be painted to them about the suburb of Marvel? I think, you know, each and every individual and each and every photograph will look at something differently. And I think that's the, that's the great thing about black and white. With color, we tend, we're so used to color. We see color all the time. We tend to pass color. But with black and white, because of the contrast, because of the tones, because of it's, it's, a, it's historic, we tend to stop and look at the photograph. So we see different elements in it. So the nice thing is that we leave it to you. We, we, you the judge and the person looking is the judge. Whether you like it, whether you don't, what you get out of it. But the whole story tells you of Melville and about Melville, which is great through different eyes. Of course. Frederica, tell us about your role um, and just what the process has been like for you. Has it been rewarding? Has it been stressful at times? It's <laughs> definitely been stressful at times. I mean, when we started the project, we didn't know what would the outcome be. So um, when we started, we, there were just a couple of photographers and a couple of enthusiasts taking part, but that project grew and grew. And I think in the end, we actually had yeah. to stop you know people <laughs> from taking photographs coming in having film developed enlarging their pictures 
grew bigger and bigger and I think we're definitely going to do another project. And Absolutely. I was going to ask about another project. How soon do you think we can expect something? Or do you just want to get this exhibition over and done with and yeah. then start conceptualizing you know this, for this, the next this one? This group that we formed, we meet every two months. Hmm. It's very informal. We, it's, we keep it short. It's chatting about film and chatting about handprints and a few technical things. And Janus, who's not here at the moment, and was his idea, it was very clear that a lot of these groups do talking. He wanted this group to work. Yes. So this project was thrown at them quickly. So the plan is every twice a year is to have big projects mm. and in between that individual groups can form their own projects. Oh so right. the whole idea is to keep the group working rather than talking. All and right. and we there to rather encourage yeah. than to judge. So we don't judge the work. We're never ever going to do that. We're just going to encourage you to shoot. All right, fantastic. Frederica, give us details. When is the exhibition running from and until and which uh, studio can we come yeah. to? So it's actually the opening was yesterday and I think we had about 250 people. Wow. people coming and enjoying and it's going to run until the 1st of uh, July and we're going to have actually a black and white meeting on Wednesday. At so the gallery. at the gallery, so anyone who's interested and um, would like to join, most welcome. All right, fantastic. Thank you so much. I've actually Thank taken you. up uh, uh, photography as a bit of a hobby. I can't say I'm any good, but maybe I should attend uh, the Wednesday meeting and see how that goes. Well, that's Frederica von Stuckelberg and, of course, uh, Dennis De Silva talking to us about the I Love Marvel Black and White Photo Exhibition. If you've checked it out, you better tweet us and let us know all about it. That's uh, at Morning Live SABC. Speaking of our Twitter handle, Sims has some tweets that he wants to share with all of you.